How you doing, guys? I just got finished watching Witness No More and is cleaning out of the Gould congregation. I guess this is a new tactic as opposed to attacking the apostates like they did at the memorials or even revoking their invitation. Single file, not two minutes into it. Each row got up and walked out. Within two minutes, the Kingdom Hall was completely empty, and he was sitting there alone, so that was telling me, rather than hear the truth about the organization, they'd rather leave and hide their head in the sand, and Jehovah's Witnesses, you ought to be disgusted with yourselves for this. But now they're leaving their own holes. Not what I wanted to bring up, guys, but uh, actually it kind of is, because I want to explain just how fragile this organization is. And witness no more, your video showed that. Anyways, I had received a comment several days ago on an earlier video, the annual rejection of Jesus Christ. I opted not to reply to it because I didn't want to start a debate in the comment section with a neophyte. But I'm going to read this comment. This is from an Archie Liburd came in about four or five days ago and he says have you ever read 1 Corinthians 11 verse 27 to 30 every sensible person knows that Jehovah's Witnesses knows the Bible very well are you trying to give the impression that you know the scriptures better than Jehovah's Witnesses in other words a one day a week Christian is claiming you know the scriptures better than Jehovah's Witnesses who are 24 7 365 Christians who study God's words daily. Ah, the idea couldn't make sense. Come on, he says. Wake up. Archie Liburd. You don't know me, obviously. I was one of Jehovah's Witnesses, okay? And I'd be lying if I said, no, they don't know anything in the Bible. I personally know Jehovah's Witnesses who blindfolded could open up to any scripture. You should give them a scripture and they'll open up to it. And I'd be lying if I said they couldn't. I know the Bible very well. I've studied the Bible for a very long time. So to make an accusation like that shows me you are a neophyte. You don't know me. You just come across my video, that one video, and don't know squat. Okay. Yes, Jehovah's Witnesses, no scriptures. They know where they're at. However, one thing I want to tell you. It's one thing knowing it here. It's another thing knowing it in the heart. Okay, yes, they can open up to, on a dime to any scripture. However, they don't feel it. They don't act on it. And they misinterpret the meaning. The only thing they know about the Bible is what the society tells them. Okay, and this is what I want to go into is just how fragile your organization is. Okay, and this is for you, Archie Liburd, and for anybody else. I think it was about three years ago I heard a comment on JW Broadcasting, I believe it was Garrett Loesch, who made the statement that apostates never try reasoning with the Scriptures because they know that Jehovah's Witnesses know the Scriptures, and I challenged that comment. Okay, first of all, Many of us who left the organization left because we used the scriptures. And in all honesty, I've heard many of the XJW community using the scriptures. Very rarely have any current Jehovah's Witnesses use the scriptures when they comment. They harass, they badger. I think we all know Daily Observer, uh, Warrior Prince, Triple Ten. Uh, Matt Manish, yes, there's a, a few examples right there. And there are many others whose names escape me right now. But here's something for you. Archie Liburd or any other Jehovah's Witnesses that come across this video. Your organization has a very weak foundation. Okay, it relies on two things. First of all, it relies on your organization's appointment as the faithful and discreet slave in 1919. It also relies very heavily on Jesus' supposed second invisible coming 
in 1914. Okay, I'm going to read a couple of scriptures, if you let me get my Bible. That is, if I can open it. Ah, there it is. Give me one second, guys. I only have use of one hand. I'm going to start a verse earlier than I was planning. And this is at Matthew chapter 24, and I think you know what I'm going into. At verse 44, it says, Therefore you also be ready, for the Son of Man is coming at an hour you do not expect. At verse 45, it says, Who then is the faithful and wise servant whom his master made ruler over his household to give them food in due season? Blessed is that servant whom his master, when he comes, finds him doing so. Assuredly, I say to you that he will make him ruler over all his goods. And that is the one verse that your organization relies very heavily on. Yet, can you find a scripture in the Bible that verifies that Watchtower was chosen? Who is the one who appointed Watchtower but Watchtower themselves? The second one is a Revelation, chapter 1, verse 7, where it says, Behold, he is coming with the clouds, and every eye will see him. Even they who pierced him in all the tribes on earth will mourn because of him. Okay, that is Christ's second coming. There'll be no question that the Christ is here. Even the blindest person in the world is going to know that something's not right with this. There is no mention in the Bible that Jesus Christ came invisibly. There is no proof in the Bible that Watchtower was selected by the Almighty and the Christ to be his faithful and discreet slave. Okay, to my understanding, they will not be chosen until after Christ's second coming. So this is a little homework for you Jehovah's Witnesses. As opposed to attacking this channel and others, I want you to go through your Bible and Feel free to use the silver shank. And you find me any backing that Jesus came invisibly. And I'm not talking Watchtower articles, okay? Because those were written by men. Uninspired, I might add, they did admit to. But I want you to use your Bible or any Bible of your choice. And you show me where their appointment was pointed to. And you show me where it said that Jesus Christ came to the world invisibly in 1914. And get back to me. Anyways, guys, that's just something I wanted to bring up. You guys have a good day. If you come across this video, hit the subscribe button, and don't forget to hit that little bell that'll let you know that I'm out here. And feel free to leave your comments. Guys, I want to thank my subscribers. And uh, feel free to watch the next video, but Jehovah's Witnesses, <laughs> I want you to pay close attention to that. And I want you to go through your Bible with a fine-tooth comb and feel free to get back to me. You guys have a good day. I'll be seeing you soon.